So I think we can do one more sealed match this morning. I've been saving up my gems and gold to uh, do limited when this set dropped. So uh, sealed I can use my gems on and then uh, for 10,000 a pop I can do the premier drafts and hopefully build back, hopefully build back some gems. Let's see what we get here. White. ETB's tapped. Whenever a creature dealt damage by it dies, create a zombie. That's okay, not great. Bard class. Ninja do creatures. Cost less and get buffed. Instrument of the Bards. Put a harmony counter, search your library. I mean, that's very good, isn't it? Long rest again is sort of okay. Flump is, I mean, flump. It's a bit of a flump of a card. All right, I'm back, I'm back. <coughs> so them's Mirrors. Ooh, Cave of the Frost Dragon. Couple of hawky boys. Blink dog. I do have some good cards in white. Wizard class. You don't seem very good in limited. I'll just... I'll be honest. Raven Feeblement. Not bad, not bad. Got some good black cards. Just got better cards this time around. Power word kill. Look at that art. Isn't it dope? Alright, bye love. Looks like I got the makings of a decent uh, black based aggro deck. Druid class? Meh. Meh. Purple worm. 7 mana, 8, 7, ward 2. Two less to cast if a creature died this turn. Faraday, Devil's Chosen. Brunor, Battlehammer. Oof, I mean, he's very good, isn't he? 50 feet of rope. Okay. So he would be very good if I had some high quality equipment. And I kind of don't. I have Delver's Torch, Paladin's Shield. Okay. And so if I made an aggressive black base deck. Bit of value in the late game, bit of aggression in the early game. I mean, like, all of these black cards do seem playable to me. I 
what would be the best color to complement it? I don't think I'd need another one drop. I mean, that's, that's a decent deck there. Decent deck. Doesn't have a lot of evasion, doesn't have a huge, a huge amount of reach though. It has a couple of little bits of reach. And um, I mean, we could get some more reach off the uh, Tomb of Annihilation. But yeah, late game, I'm really just relying on removing stuff. I should probably have this in here if I'm doing this sort of thing to give stuff menace as a as a finishing move. Blue. I don't think I have anything in blue that complements what I'm trying to do here. Got a little bit of synergy in blue with some dice rolling stuff. But yeah, it doesn't seem to particularly complement what I'm doing, as I said. White would give me a little bit of removal. A little bit of evasion. Only a little bit, mind you. And Bruno, but I don't have enough equipment to turn him on, really. Green. Greeny, green, green. It would give me this guy, which gives me some better late game rage. Null Hunter actually seems okay. Yeah, blue greens looking looking like my best option to be honest. Okay, so if I'm doing sorry, black green. If I'm doing a black green aggro. Probably one evolving wilds. You're too slow. Yep, okay. I could be re really daring and try to go Jond. But yeah, I just I don't know that uh, the black red deck has enough late game reach to do what I need it to do. So I feel like I want that for a bit of disruption. This can either be removal or a combat trick. That's just straight up removal. This is a very good creature. Removal. Good creature with a bit of reach, good creature, value, good removal. Okay. I probably want at least one deadly dispute and I maybe want the talisman. Shambling Gar seems okay. 
We'll see how low to the ground we end up being and whether or not we actually want a one drop. That is an instrument of the bards, which is obviously very good. This seems too slow. I think I want these, just because they can grow in the late game. Your good removal. This is a maybe. He's a little bit slow. A little bit slower than I'd like. This could be a 5 mana 8-7 if something has died this turn. This guy again is a maybe. Long rest. Again, helps if I'm getting into the late game, but I kind of just want to get him dead before that, don't I? late game reach I guess how much removal do I have here I mean I have a fair amount of removal already I've got power word kill I've got the drop I've got choose your weapon and I've got a couple of grim bounties I probably actually want to cut one of these It does give me the ramp. It's just a bit slow for what I'm trying to do. I don't think I want a one drop. It's just so low impact later in the game. Do I want the Prowler? Probably not. Okay. I think we try like this. Alright, game one. This is a slow hand. Deck full of two drops, and the only one we draw is removal. Seems fine. So I think I do just keep my card there, because this is going to invalidate that in a second. Welcome back, love. Double basking. Okay, create a treasure whenever they want. See what they're up to there. So 
I think I get rid of this. I don't want them killing my stuff. We'll go for the attack. Sure. Yep, you have ramped. No, you haven't. But you have insured land drops. This guy's going to be a nightmare when he hits the battlefield. Block here so they can't ramp. So I can remove two things next turn if I need to, but I probably won't need to. And they've got some pretty uh, nasty looking dudes in their hand, so we want to save our removal. Get rid of that now. Keep our mana free on our turn. Not that we're actually going to do anything with it. Just keep rotating them. Oh, I could have cast this. I'm an idiot. I just had tunnel vision on the fact that I couldn't, but I actually could have there. Oh my gosh. I could have had an 8-7 on the board right now. I could have attacked with it next turn, triggered pack tactics. Oh, and then I could have uh, destroyed their big dude next turn with Grim Bounty. Oh my god, that's horrible. That's horrible. That's... That's like a game losing misplay. And I don't draw the land to cast this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Get in with this guy.
Ooh, what did they do? They ambushed my dude. How did my dude die? Fight effect, okay. Um, yeah, I guess we attack. Sorry, I just had to pop off and I uh, help my wife with something. Oh. Put myself in a bad situation here. have put myself in a bad situation I'm way too trigger happy on this uh, <laughs> on this dungeon all right we're dead we dead <laughs> uh, stooged myself hoisted by my own petard on the play hand is okay Wish I had more creatures, but it doesn't. Shooby dooby 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 doo wop wop. That's our opponent, Shooby. So next turn is probably a uh, check for traps in Evolving Wilds. the black ugly looking fella isn't he I mean I can deal with both of their creatures I think I actually get rid of this. Because I'll be able to deal with these before they can protect them. There's the Prowler. That's real nice. I wish I'd drawn a land. Kill this guy. So they can sack it, give this guy 4-4, four, four, and they should, because I'm going to get value off this if it ETBs. It is the correct line. Go ahead and do it, please, Shuby. It doesn't require this much thought. There's an obvious correct play here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Didn't that feel good? I regret putting so many of these in my deck. Hasn't worked out very well for me so far. Ah, oh, no blocks. want to wait for them to tap out before trying to kill this so hopefully they try to play this this turn and i can rave enfeeblement this in response because they can't sack it and then i can kill the owlbear with um power word kill or with this if i draw the land dungeon crawler sure 
Well, now they're tapped out of black. So they still can't do it. Yeah, it's sack another creature, buddy. Come on. We don't need to do this. Oh, really? They went for it. Wowzers. Albert. The draw a card part is unfortunate. Don't need to create a treasure at the moment. Another Albert. So next turn I can trigger the um, pack tactics. That's what I was hoping to top deck. Okay, get me out of here. Okay, on the play. Hand is alright. Get in there. Get in there. Get on there. Bang, four damage. Four damage and gain two. Feels good, feels very good. Okay. I see what you're doing. Still gonna attack. Block if you want, it has death touch. Okay. I think I'd rather re-equip re than leave this up. I should have put more of these in my deck. It's really good. Sure. Man, these drains are adding up quickly. I had a second one of these, didn't I? Yeah, I should have put it in. It's so good. Cool, that means they both die and I venture into the dungeon. How do you have so many more cards than me? How did that happen? I mean, I guess I'm doing this one. There's so much more life. So much more life. Okay. You gain a life. I think this is worth doing now. Make life difficult for them next turn. So the amulet alone is a two turn clock for them. 
So they can't really afford to attack. Ooh, they risk it. And if they just gain one life here, they die. Assuming they don't have a uh, good blocker. Yeah, so I should have put more of these in. Like, I got more of that direct damage effect. I think we saved the kill spell. They still have to block here. They got all this mana up, so I assume they've got something to do. Sure. I wish I'd cast it now. Man, I'll pay two life. I got plenty of it. They kind of have to discard something. Tarask. Imagine putting Tarask in your deck. Well, might as well do this now. That's lethal next turn. What you got? Pardon me. Breathed in some of my, um... Oh. That's so dirty. Nope. Oh. My opponent, on the other hand, is dead. Oh no, they can sack a land. They could have just sacked a land. Maybe they misunderstood it like I did. So the lands here are a bit awkward, but I'm going to keep it because I got this guy and I'd love to just get that going. Seem to always be on the play at the moment. Problem is I don't actually know what's in my deck. Like, I should probably stop this at two or three. Dungeon time. The Cowards Dungeon. Lost Mine of Cowards.
what you got here? What instant speed shenanigans do you have here? Other than being a 2 mana 3 2, this isn't really that great. It's too late, you needed to do that before combat. Really not that great. Whenever a creature dealt damage by it dies, I mean, because it's gonna die in that exchange as well. You know? I guess, how much do I want from a 2 mana creature? I just prefer it as a 3-3. Three, three. But yeah, 2 mana 3-2 trades in combat replaces itself. I guess it's not nothing. Sure. I do have some 4 drops. I do have some four drops. Why does this show it playing to animals? Like, bards are not druids. Man. Opponents passing out the melatonin pills like candy. Interesting choice. Do I not have a four drop in here? Oh, that guy's a five drop. I was thinking of my zombie ogre, logo, which is a five drop. Oops. So I guess I am putting a counter on it now. Okay. The opponent loves their tap effects. Different mountains? Why would you? Hello. No, no. You want me to come play with your shoelace? Opponent has completed a dungeon. Huzzah! horrible and this is the ugliest mountain that's ever been printed as well why would you
Do they have a burn spell? Do you have a burn spell? Okay, so they don't have an obvious route to victory or survival, or they wouldn't be roping this hard. Yep. Ooh, I get to sacrifice two permanents. I'll sack a forest and a druid. Do they have a way through for two more points of damage? There's no shock in this set, so they don't have that. Oh. Kill the big boy. Attack with all. Good game. Okay, we are on the draw. Hands okay, it's not great. It's okay though. Quite likely we lead on evolving wilds. I feel like there's a mono blue tempo deck. Or a mostly blue tempo deck in limited in this set. Blue got some really good pieces for that sort of play style. Wonder what our opponent has at instant speed for one blue mana. There's no opt in this set. I mean that I know of anyway. So I think I get black here. I've got double black and just a lot more black cards anyway. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. Pit trap. Yeah, right. Displace a beast. Feign death. Zombie ogre. Manticore. I think I just take the beast, mess up their curve a bit. They don't have anything exciting to do next turn. Imagine paying four mana for this card. Jeez. Yep. See if they want to block and feign death here. They really want them to do that. Yes, sucker. I'm just always going to go for this one. 
Not always, but you know. I definitely am the aggressor here, so... Bonk. Opponent's stuck on lands too, it sucks for them. Sure, so on my turn this thing will die. Which means my zombie ogre will trigger. Could be worse. What dungeon do they choose? I'm guessing they scry one. I am guessing they scry one. Oh, they finally decided. I'll pay the life. I don't mind. Okay, and they scoop. Makes sense. Makes sense. They were stuck on lands for a long time, poor guy. Three wins in a row. Okay, on the play. Couple of two drops. Sure. This is obviously going to be a black sauce. Okie dokie. You got it. You has won one. Give me that swamp. Obviously want to find a second because I got a couple of uh, double pippers here. Sure. Ow. There it is. Play the correct land. Very important. No attacks. There's no point. Everyone else in, else in the house is now up and about, so I just want to close the door, minimize some noise. I'm just going to hold up the, uh, the harp. I don't see a need to pay 4 mana to kill a 2 drop. 
Ooh, they're staying back and they missed their land drop. That's unfortunate. Oh, it only has one thing on it. Okay, my bad. My bad, I keep just, you know, not reading the card. I don't want it to get double blocked and trade because I want to get another hunter out and start putting counters on these guys. That's what I want to do. Sure. Ah, uh, maybe they were planning to do that on my end step last turn, but I uh, didn't realize they couldn't. Yep, scry one. They always scry one. Maybe they didn't read the card like I didn't read the card last turn. Okay, and they scoop. They cannot deal with the Knoll Hunters. They're probably just sick of being land screwed, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Can't deal with the two mana two twos. Four wins in a row so far. Um, this hand's not great, but I guess it'll do. And I'm glad because uh, getting the two wins on the trot. So the two losses on the trot was uh, kind of Um, what's the word I'm looking to for? Disappointing, because I feel like of the uh, three events we've done, this is definitely the strongest deck we've built. Hey, hey, crossbow. Crossbow. Yeah, I feel like this is the uh, most cohesive and strongest deck we've built so far. Opponent on that gruel life, like we were in the last event. So we're expecting some big boys from them. There's one of them. Yeah. We'll trigger happy on the attack button there, aren't we? Now, which one of these do I want? Um, given that I'm about to take a bunch of damage, I probably want to choose the Coward's one. As much as I uh, make fun of everyone for choosing this option. Um, Null Hunter lets me double spell next turn, which I can already do with white. So do I want to find something? No, I'm happy with Null Hunter actually. Oh, this is actually nice. It can block the uh, ogre on my turn and activate the Knoll Hunter's pack tactics. So it can block on their turn and activate pack tactics on my turn. Yeah, and there's also no point going the life train route when they're going to be uh, gaining life every turn thanks to the innkeeper. Two treasure tokens. That's uh, pretty good. That's very good. Oh, 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 let's, uh, let's touch everything. I never got that lucky with my ogre. Oh, I shuffled away the Null Hunter. That was, uh, silly of me.
Surely they won't. No more ramp shenanigans for you. Well, that's sad. Okay, Mr. Landrop, so sack their dude. Get in for one. Get through for seven. Bullet. I assume it's meant to be bullet, but bullet. Don't know why they're saying oops. I don't know why they're saying nice. Why oops? Why oops? Explain yourself. Okay, do I just attack with everything? Probably, right? I'm gonna have probably two unprofitable Trades. Those were probably the worst two that they could leave me with though, because they're going to keep pumping each other. And we'll now trade with the Albear. They probably just didn't want me to get the 2-2. Make a dork, keep the pressure on him. Okay, dork answered. Okay, and we win. Unless they have a way to blow this up at instant speed. And they've got some kind of instant here. Or maybe just the ability to sack the treasure is uh, holding priority. Why do they keep saying oops? If you have a fight effect, play it now. Okay, they've said good game, but they're still holding up priority and they haven't conceded, so I'm not going to say good game back to them. Once I get to combat and the trigger is on the stack, I will say good game to you. Okay, good game. Five wins in a row! All right, opponent goes first. This hand is probably unkeepable. This hand is better. Um, you're more conditional. And I'm probably just going to be doing back-to-back -back two drops in turns two and three. 
Apparently our opponent is 82 years old. Paladin class, baby! It will just staple an anthem effect onto a tax effect. It will be great. Okay, so Null Hunter into uh, Circle of the Moon is probably our best option here. This guy becomes a 3-3 if it's equipped. It's pretty decent in in this environment. Not not in any other environment. Yep, it's a free attack. I ain't blocking. I've got other plans for this guy. Oh, this is a 3-drop, so it was never going to be back-to-back 2-drops. -back kind of wish I did have that... Um, Thingo now. That um. Oh, it's only a four drop because of the tax effect. I should have played this last turn. I'm an idiot. That's where we're going with this. Oops. Oh, it's going to set me so far back. That's probably going to cost me the game. Just not paying enough attention there. So this is a 2-drop. This is a 3-drop. And I messed up my sequencing because I was looking at my card costs during my turn. Ah, oh, sorry, during my opponent's turn, thinking about what I would do next turn. Scryzies, like a coward. That. Use treasure to play this. Attack with you. Pump your class. Pumpy, pumpy, pumpy. Maximum aggression. What you got there? Removal on a stick. No point equipping this onto anything yet. We are going to have to double block the 4-4 next turn. And if they are, pump it with Paladin class, it's still not going to be enough. I have to sack this, because they're going to kill a creature with the 4-4 uh, next turn. Yeah, we're probably done for here, but that's okay. We've had a pretty good run. Five wins in a row. Okay. I mean, we're just going to be taking six a turn now. Need to find a removal spell for this elemental. Yep. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Sacrifice an enchantment, please. Let's 
still can't afford to attack. I am on five here. Boros aggro doing its job. Sorry, law hold aggro doing its job. No gobbers. No more gobbers. So glad I managed to get rid of that werewolf, uh, the wolf pack. That was a bad attack from them. They should have attacked with the 2 1. Kill something off. Can't afford to attack. Just stop there, please. Wonderful. Leaving myself very vulnerable here. Oh no. going so badly for us just draw a land just draw a land already okay you block there you block there I am on to I still cannot attack. So I can try to blow out the Gloomstalker and go to one. Let's see how they attack here. Need my amulet back. Start gaining some life. Ugh. Good game. You got me. Come on, man. Just move to attacks. Like, I'm dead on board. I have no cards in hand. <laughs> Cowards. Cowards everywhere. Well, that's us done. It's still been a very successful event. I uh, really wish my internet was faster. It will be soon. We're getting an upgrade soon. Yeah, rollouts were uh, delayed by... Uh, There's this bug going around last year and some of this year. Yeah, 1,600 gems. So this cost us 400 gems. And we got nine packs. That's uh, pretty dace. Pretty dace. Mastery. Receive this reward now by purchasing the Mastery Pass. Oh yeah, I don't have a Mastery Pass this season. That's fine though. What do I get? Green, Green Dragon Slave, Lair of the Hydra, something I don't care about, something else I don't care about.
Why did I not put Demi Lich in this? It's a bit rude. So really, which one of these sleeves do I like best? I mean, I always go black, right? It's my favorite color, but uh, honestly, the white sleeve and the green sleeve look the best. It's tough. It's tough, you know? Eh, I'm going green, just for a change. Let's do it, let's live dangerously. Let's open a few packs. Cool. Gems, sure. Hey, Akiri, Fearless Voyager. Have you all seen uh, Remy's skit about Akiri? MTG Remy? Come up. Hey, hey, Scourge of the Skyclaves. Nice. Wild card, not bad. Okay, that's done. Yep, we got 37 Strixhaven packs. We're not opening them yet. Stay tuned, we will eventually.